Yo, yeah, I'm Hosab Throwers. One more time, one more night. Another fucking hardcore show here in New York City. We're going to the Blender Theater or the Grammar Seats to see Vision of Fucking Disorder, one of my personal favorite bands. It's gonna be a night of hardcore at its best here in New York City. Fucking mecca of it all. And yeah, what can I say? I'm fucking very, very excited. I heard they're gonna be playing some new songs, some older material as well, of course. And hey, if you don't believe me that we're here, that this is what's gonna happen right the fuck right now, check this out. What's up, what's up, Threads? Back here from the Blem Theater. I'm here with Tim Williams from Fish and Disorder. What's up, buddy? What's up, man? How you doing? How's everybody doing out there? Welcome back to New York City after almost two years. Last time yeah. was at the Plaza. You guys took the night. Like, you mean, took the night. Yeah, it was a good night, man. You know, uh, it's been a while since we played at all. We haven't played since uh, Halloween of last year. We went out with Slipknot. Been in the studio a lot, so it's been good to get out and rip it up again. And it was, uh, I felt it was a really, really good show. I mean, and the new songs really came across. I mean, I think you guys were like, you always said, you don't want to repeat yourself, you don't want to go back nah. to what you're doing. Vision of the Sword has always been about evolution. Yeah, it's all about the evolution. And, you know, we've been in the studio, we've been a little lackadaisical, kind of a little too laid back. And it's taken a little bit longer to get it done, but I think we really wrote some really, really special songs, you know, and I think um, I think the VOD fan, that's what we're catering to. You know, it'd be cool if we pick up some new ones, but if we don't, whatever. And uh, we're looking really forward to, uh, and I think we wrote some really great songs that the VOD kids are really gonna dig. And I think uh, I think you're gonna see us come back to the city and do an even bigger venue and have an even better show. And Tim, like right now you're about to enter the studio, so what are your expectations? Of course, the songs are pretty much early now. You guys have like 20 songs going Yeah, in. well, we're gonna go in and we're only gonna record five. To, to be honest, to talk to the fan honestly, we're just gonna record five songs for now. Because we really don't feel like we're in the proper headspace to really push out a whole record, even though we have the proper material to do so. We want to do five songs and then let our management properly shop the songs. We're not looking for a big deal, but we're looking for the right deal for the band at this junction of our career. And we don't feel like we're in a proper headspace to record 11 or 12 songs at the moment. So we're going in about three weeks and doing uh, five of our best fucking songs we have and we're gonna shop them out proper. And then late in the fall, we're gonna do some, uh, probably about Christmas time, we're gonna do a string of shows. So. And when will we expect that material to come out? That material, the five songs, you, you probably won't, you aren't gonna hear that, but we're gonna release, hopefully, there's no reason why this record should not be out early next year. But that obviously no guarantees because as you said, you're looking no, for the no, right situation. No, no, this is guaranteed. This is guaranteed because it's gotta get done. We just want to record these songs so we get the right deal in place. And we already have one offer that's dope. And we'll probably, you know, we'll see what happens. But hopefully we'll be recording in the winter and then it'll be out. And Tim, because I was already saying, Vision of Sword has always been about evolution. And right now, you guys, you know, when you guys took your hiatus, it was a very different band than what it is now. You guys are fucking more like in your game, I think, as a band. Everybody's more like, I would say, musically perfect because of that hunger of like taking a break or whatever it was and coming back and all of a sudden like I think you guys got that fire that maybe it might have been like a little bit extinguished when you guys left the scene but I think it's always right. a good thing it's a positive thing when a band just comes as strong as you guys have yeah you know it felt real good tonight and I think it really proved to uh, anybody who was in question that we couldn't hold but we've always had and I'm not saying we're trying to reinvent the wheel that we're the biggest band in the fucking world but we are we are and we proved that tonight and will always do that. And as far as your lyrical inspiration, because you have, obviously, you write from the heart, from shit that you've experienced, and how, like, I mean, how are the new lyrics? Is it, like, the same kind of, like, idea that like, you've always written about, or you like, I gotta be honest, things? I haven't really dug into the lyrics just yet. I got a couple, you know, speak honestly with my fans. 
a lot of it has to do with you know where I'm at right now in my life or maybe what I've gone through over the last couple of years which has been a very very trying time you know and uh, cleaning up my act and uh, you know pulling you know Blood Simple was a real high wave and that wave uh, crashed or ended for a number of different reasons to pull yourself out of that and get back on track it takes a long time so uh, I got to really sit down and put put a, get a good good versions of the songs go away for like a week, get on my motorcycle, and uh, really dig in deep. And um, I know this is an important record, so it's going to take some heart to really dig in. You know, a little older now, more distractions in life. It's hard to really write proper lyrics, but that's what I have to do. I can't just throw lyrics on a page just to say, oh, I'm hard and these are the streets. No. And tell it how it is, but I haven't gotten there yet, so I don't know how it's gonna be. <laughs> it's coming soon. <laughs> yeah, it's coming soon, man. But it's always it's always been about, as you said, like about yourself, about your everyday life. The truth is, you know, it's right. Coming, you know, Just true to the heart. Keeping it real, and I want to definitely uh, dig in deep, try and sing about some different things, you know, and you know, really gonna focus on uh, a lot of the singing elements on this record, which there isn't that many, but when they do hit, they're gonna be sick, and uh, that's what I'm looking forward. To doing you know i've screamed my entire life there'll be plenty of fucking screaming but i really think my singing voice has evolved once again to shit it's gonna be cool it's gonna be interesting and before we get out of here i want to say like we have all the older fans thank you so much for doing this tonight and for being an inspiration for every kid out there who's gone through shit as you say you've been like fucking going strong you look fucking dude you look fucking good right yeah, now thanks. Gonna say. <laughs> thanks, and you know dude. what i mean like it's a lot of hard work and you know it's fucking hopefully one kid who has going through some sort of shit it's gonna be like let's pick up the mic instead of fucking whatever it is that's yeah. out there so much bullshit out there so easy to get polluted but i think like the message that you fucking convey to all the kids out there is kind of like you know what you can fucking get yourself back up and get on that fucking you stage and get destroy up. that's what you got to do you got to get up you got to stay focused you got to find something to to live for and live by and uh you know make invent your own way and make your own way out there and don't let anybody tell you you can't because when they say that they don't want you to so then you got to work harder and prove them wrong that's it the words from tim williams here from mission disorder at blender theater a beautiful night of fucking music beautiful, beautiful night, night here in new york city the best fucking city in the world Thank you very much, and uh, we'll be seeing you out there on the road sometime soon. Whoever we go in the fucking world, motherfuckers, let you